Hello, good evening. How are you? Buenas noches. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, good evening sir. How are you? Good evening. I'm fine, teacher. Okay, very Hi. good. Good evening, Stella. Good evening, Luis. Good evening, Maricela. Good evening. Claudia. Good evening. Diana, Rufino. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, vamos aquí más Liliana, Crisia, Patricia. Okay, how was your weekend, Mr. Rías? How was your weekend? ¿Cómo estuvo el fin de semana? Mm, my weekend was very busy. Very busy, because, right? Uh, because all time I I grew up at 4 a.m. and go to the work. It's a uh, I watch the the cow. Yes, and the product of milk. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's a uh, Today and in the morning is raining. Yes, it was raining. It was raining, yes, it was raining. But um, a few minutes uh, are, um, are raining too. Yes, yeah, so a while ago it was raining too also. Yes. So you, you woke up at... 4 a.m. even on weekends, Saturday, Sunday. All day, all day, all day. Every day. If you, but every day for the, the product of milk, don't have a holidays. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yes, exactly. You don't have a it's, holiday. Yes. Okay, yes. very good, Mr. Ria. Probably you will be able to rest or uh, probably on your vacations if you have vacations, right? But um, yeah. <laughs> it's good. It's good that you have, <laughs> that you wake up early because you are able to do all, all your job. Who else wants to comment about yes. their weekend? Mr. Luis, Tatiana, Rufino. Jenny. Um, uh-huh. Rufino. Sí, Rufino. Okay. Uh, ¿Cómo le fue el fin de semana, Rufino? How was your weekend, Rufino? How was uh, Saturday, I, I went to go, I, I went, I went to work, uh, I went to work and um, um, uh, market, center market. Mm -hmm. I I visit I visited a uh, 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 a a client mm -hmm. and um, I have I I have a client um, he he likes uh, books theology books mm -hmm. uh, I, I, <coughs> Uh, other um, other things uh, uh, Saturday and and Sunday mm -hmm. I went to church uh, for the uh, for the morning mm -hmm. the morning um, after uh, we we come back uh, we came back mm -hmm. uh, a, a house mm -hmm. and. I am, I am cooked. cooked. You cooked. What did you I, cook? I cook um, for, for my family. I I cooked uh, um, soup, kitchen kitchen soup. Chicken uh, soup. Uh, chicken soup. Okay. Chicken soup. <laughs> chicken soup. Eh, eh. For a good time with my family. With your we, family. We we had we had good time. Okay. My, my okay, family. very good. And did mm -hmm. you prepare the the chicken soup? Did you make it? What? <laughs> Usted preparó la sopa de pollo? 
Yes, I yes, I try. So you can cook. I, you can cook, Rufina. <laughs> yeah, I I cook all 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 Sunday. Mm -hmm. The uh, all Sunday breakfast, lunch, and and dinner. <laughs> okay, very good. You like to cook. Okay, you prepare food on Sundays, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Very good. That's very good because this uh, this week we are going to talk about food also in English, right? But we are going to prepare food. We are going to talk about food, different activities. But uh, first of all, since this is week number three, I don't know if you have any question, any question from previous uh, topics like the past, used to, adjectives, nouns, um, do you have any question about that or everything is clear? Because this is like a pyramid, right? Uh, of levels. Primero vamos a primer nivel, segundo nivel, and everything is related to it. Todo está relacionado. O sea, primero tienen que aprender el presente para después ir al pasado, etc. Entonces, uh, you have to have good bases, right? Tienen que tener buenas bases. So if you haven't understood anything, just let me know. And I will explain to you again. I don't know if you have any question about that or everything is clear. Todo está claro? Preguntas de los temas pasados? Questions? No questions? A los que tienen problemas con la, la conexión de internet, está bien. Ya me hicieron saber ahí algunos que tienen problemas con la conexión. Tal vez puedan, si tienen problemas al ver la, la clase, pues la pueden ver después. Uh, so, do you have any question, any doubt from previous weeks? No, teacher. No, no questions. Okay. Okay, Hugo, you were sick, right? You were sick, right, Hugo? Yeah, I'm so sorry, teacher, because I had an accident with some friends. Well, I don't know what happened, right? I understand. And it was a car accident or... Yeah, yeah, with my car. With your car, I understand. Okay, hopefully you are okay. Now you're you're feeling better, right? Or you still yeah, hurt? Yeah, yeah, so, so. Okay, very good. So hopefully you're getting better every day. And thank you for joining us, Hugo. If you're able to participate, just just let us, let us know, okay? Good evening, Estela, Liliana, Olivia, Patricia, Patricia Veronica, Patricia Gabriela, right? Crisia, Griselda, Alejandra, Carla. Okay, good evening. Now we are going to begin, since you don't have questions from previous weeks um, or previous classes, I imagine that everything is clear. So we are just going to have a little review and we are going to start with the, the new week, right? The new topics. So I have here just some questions. It's like a quiz actually. Things that you have done already. Estos ya las respondieron, ya las hicieron. Espero que estén haciendo la plataforma también. Así que si hicieron la plataforma, trabajaron en la plataforma, esto va a ser fácil. Entonces, we are going to have that right now. And if you have any questions, let, let us know, right? If you didn't uh, get it very well or if you have still doubts about that, we are going to, to explain it again. So we are going to see some questions right now. And you just need to let me know the, the answer, right? This is like the platform. Esto es como en la plataforma. So lo vamos a repasar. Para después este, entrar a los, a, los, a los nuevos temas. Entonces aquí tenemos que escoger la, la respuesta. We have to choose the answer. Where? Space, I was born in Santa Ana. That is a question, right? So where was you born? Where were you born? I'm um, sorry, where were I born? Where were you born? Or where was I born? Which is the correct one? A, B, C, or D? C. C, right? Let me see. Yes, correct. Very good. Next one. Did she play soccer in high school? What is the answer, the correct answer? No, she didn't play soccer in high school. She played basketball. Uh, no, she didn't play soccer in high school. She played basketball. Or no, she soccer didn't play in high school. She played basketball. B. A, B, B? 
team. Yes, correct. Let me see. Next one. Choose the best response to this question. When did you graduate from college? I graduated from college in 2005. I graduated from college in 2005. I did graduate from college in 2005. B. B. I think B. B. Let me see. Very good. Very good, sir. You're doing it very well. Next one. Choose the best question to match this response. I grew up in Houston, Texas. Where did you grow up? Where did you grow up? Where you grew up? A, B, or C? B. 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 No, it's A. A. Remember the auxiliary, right? Where did you grow up? Exactly, exactly. Let me see the previous no, one. Nice. Which option is the correct way to answer the question? Were you a good student in high school? Yes, I was. Yes, I were. No, I were. Yes, I was. Yes, I was. Very good. Very good. Next one. Put these words in the correct order. You born where city in this? You were born in the city. Born you were in the city. Were you born in the city? C. 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 Letter C. Letter C, okay. Very good, letter C, very good. Next one. Where did Jerry grow up? She grew up in Brighton, England. She grew up in Brighton, Ireland. She grew up in Brighton, England. Very good, letter C. Very good, very good. Next one, choose the best response for the question. What games did you used to play when you were a kid? I used to play basketball and football when I was a kid. I used to play basketball and football when I was a kid. I used to play basketball in football. Letter B. 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 Yes, you had a hint there. Very good. Let me see. Choose the best response to this question. What did you use to collect when you were a kid? I used to collect comic books when I was a kid. I used to collect comic books when I was a kid, or I used to collect it comic books when I was a kid. A. 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 Very good. Letter A. That's correct. My last job was easy and relaxing. I used to, used to, or was used to work from 9 a.m. from PA. A. A. I used to. I used to. I used to. Yo solía. Very good. Very good. Which is correct. Did you used to worry about money when you were younger? Did you used to worry about money when you were younger? Or did you used to about money when you were younger? B. 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 Very good. Letter B. Which one is correct? Did you used to follow politics five years ago? Did you follow politics five years ago? Or did you used to politics five years ago? A. A. A, very good, because of the auxiliary, right? Very good. Choose the best uh, question to this answer. I used to care a lot about my appearance. Now I'm too busy to care how I look. What do you used to care about when you were younger? What do you used to care about when you were younger? Or what do you used to care about when you about your appearance. <laughs> 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 correct. Hey. Hey, right. Very good. Correct. Very good. I don't know why you're showing that. I don't know why. But anyway, <laughs> complete the question. What kind of video games did you used to play when you were younger? Do you used to play when you were younger or you used to play when you were younger? B. 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 Very good. Letter B. Which of the following options is not a countdown? Bus, subway line, parking. 
Sí. Sí. Parking. Parking. Very good. Parking. It's not a countable noun. What are some examples of count nouns? Choose three options. Count nouns. Desk. Desk. A. Book. Book. A. Book. Camera. Uh -huh. camera. What else? Camera. Very good. Desk, camera, and book. Very good. Why is there too much traffic? Because there are too many bicycles. Because there are too many cars. Because there are too many pedestrians. B. 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 Very good. We almost finished, which is correct. There aren't too many police officers in my city. There aren't enough police officers in my city, or there aren't many two police officers in my city. B. 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 Very B. good. There aren't enough. Very good. Which is correct. There are too much pollution in my city. There is too little pollution in my city or there is too much pollution in my city. Sí. Sí. Very good. Very good, there is too much. Complete the statement, I can't sleep at night. There should be less noise, more noise, too much noise. Sí. A. C or A? A. 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 A, yes, correct, A. How would you transform the following sentence into an indirect question? Where's the nearest internet cafe? Could you tell me where the nearest internet cafe is? Could you tell me where is the nearest internet cafe? Or could you tell me the internet cafe where is? A. 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 Let me see. Very good. Correct. You're doing it very well. Rephrase the following question as an indirect question. How late do the buses run? Do you know how late do the buses run? The question is already indirect. Do you know how late the buses run? A. C. C. Let's see. Yes, correct. Very good. We almost finished now, which is correct. Apartments isn't comfortable enough for families. Apartments are too comfortable for families. Apartments aren't comfortable enough for families. Letter C. Letter C. Yes, letter C. Apartments aren't comfortable enough for families. Which is correct. Apartments don't have privacy enough. Apartments don't have enough privacy. Or apartments have privacy enough. <laughs> yeah, right. Correct. It's correct. I don't know why it's showing that. Which is correct. My neighbor's house has five bedrooms, but my house isn't a, as big his. Is big as his. Isn't as big as his. C. 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 Very good. Letter C isn't as big as his. Comparing, right? We write the following sentence using the wish. Dan can fit into his old jeans. Dan wishes he can fit into his old jeans. Dan wishes he could fit into his old jeans. Or Dan wishes he has bigger jeans. B. 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 Okay, let me see. <clears throat> yes, Dan wishes he could fit into his old jeans. Rewrite the following sentence with a wish using wish. Laura doesn't have any free time. Laura wishes she had some free time. Laura wishes she has some free time. Laura wishes she could want some free time. Hey. Hey. Very good. <clears throat> How do you say mercadeo in English? Marketing. 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 Very good. And the last one. How do you say gotera in English? Leak. Leak. Very Leak. good. Leak. Leak on the roof. Very good. You did very good. Almost everything was okay. You, you had a 10. 
And also you had some hints, you had some pistas, but it doesn't matter. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> yes, Estela. Do you have a question, Estela? No? No, no es pues, no es pregunta, sino que me tendré que retirar porque tengo un pequeñito problema en mi casa. Okay. Okay, no problem, okay? You can join us tomorrow, okay? See you tomorrow. Okay, see you tomorrow. Okay, very good. Now we are going to continue with the class. Um, we finished with this, so we are going to close it. Okay, very good. Estuvo muy bien eh, el review. Y ahora creo que vamos a poder continuar con la, la clase o los temas que vamos a ver en este, esta semana, ¿verdad? Déjenme ver. Ok, this is the presentation for today's week, week number three. De aquí en adelante van a sentir todo más rápido, que ya vamos a terminar las semanas. Entonces, the objective for today, it says, practice asking and answering questions in English using the present perfect and simple past tenses. In this lesson, English teacher Joe Sands, or the one that you saw uh, on the videos, explains when you use simple past versus the present perfect tense depending on the time frame of the action. Practice asking questions in the present perfect using have you ever and describing your past experiences by responding in both the present perfect and simple past. This lesson includes an English oral comprehension exercise. Okay, so if you have seen, we are going to study two tenses and we are going to combine the tenses. We are going to study the present perfect and the past tense. Have you studied those tenses before? Yes. You studied the, the past, the simple past, ¿verdad? El pasado simple, ya lo estudiaron. Ese es fácil, ¿verdad? Easy. And the present perfect, have you studied that? Yes. Okay, so I think it will be a piece of cake, okay? Now, we are going to talk about food also. We have, this is popular food uh, in Chile, right? We have hot dogs and, well, empanadas, right? And other things that, well, I didn't know the name. This is like an egg with casamiento, right? And we have fried things here. So this is popular food in Chile. What kind of food do you know? What is uh, like the popular food here in El Salvador? In El Salvador. Pupusas. Pupusas, Pupusas. Right? Pupusas. Tamales. Tamales. Do you like tamales? Yeah. Yes, yes I like. Good. Do you like more tamales pisques or tamales? The normal tamales. Chicken. Like... Chicken tamales. Normal tamales. Normal. Do you don't like pisques? Chicken. Chicken, Chicken. tamales. Chicken tamales. Elote. Elote. Chipilín. Yes. Corn tamales. tamales. Chipilín with cheese. Chipilín with cheese. Yes, they are very good. Yes, they are really, really delicious. And we have other things, right? Also, we have things, riguas, right? Also, in Santa Ana, we call differently uh, some kind of food, right? For example, for example, charamuscas. We don't say charamusca. We say topollillo, right? I don't know why, but it's different. Or hot dogs, we say chéveres in Santa Ana, right? It's different. Yes, different. And some people, they they say that it's kind of weird, right? We are different from El Salvador, but I don't think it is it's so different. But it says chévere uh, on the streets, on the carts. What what kind of other food do you do you have or do you know about El Salvador? In, uh, you have pupusas, tamales. Empanadas. Empanadas, atol de lote. Yuka. Also empanadas. Do you know uh, the empanadas? Bean with cream. Yes, bean. Also empanadas with bean and, and cream. Or we don't say empanadas, we say pastelitos. We don't call them la empanadas de plátano, banana. Empanadas, yes. we, don't, we don't say empanada, we say pastelito. <laughs> yes, it's different. We are, we are a very small country, but we have some differences. Also in San Miguel, I, I he I've heard that the pupusas, they eat it with mayonnaise. Is that true? Yes. With mayonnaise, yes. right? Yeah, yes. I, I have never tasted a, a pupusa with mayonnaise. But anyways, 
What what other kind of food do you know about El Salvador that is not very common? Tacuacin. Have you eaten tacuacin? <laughs> also, uh, some people eat what is the other the other name? The lizard. Garrobo, right? Rabbit. Rabbit. Oh. Rabbit also. Snakes also. We eat a, a lot of a lot of things, but anyway. So this is what we are going to talk about today, right? Kind of food. Have you have you eaten dinner already? Yes, and Yes, right. Okay, very good. Because probably you, yes. you can you can you could get hungry. You could get hungry. So we have ethnic uh, food, right? Favorite ethnic food. Which dishes are made of meat? Which dishes are made with fish? Have you ever tried any of those dishes? Of these dishes? Which would you like to try? And what ethnic foods are popular in Chile and Peru or in El Salvador, right? So we have fish here. We have, uh, well, I don't know what, what, is the, what the name is of that food. How, do you like seafood? Do you like seafood? Yes, I like yes, it. Yes. Have yes. you tried yeah. ceviche? Yes, yes. ceviche. Yes, right. It's delicious. Like it. Yes, yes. And some people they are allergic to to seafood, right? Allergic to yes. mariscos. But some people. So uh, everybody likes seafood here, or you don't like yes. seafood? Yes. I like. I like. You like, I like it. it. Do you like it, Olivia? Do you like seafood? <laughs> Olivia, I don't like... you? you don't like seafood? No. Why? Nunca me han gustado los cocktails, cosas de cocktails. Cocktails, seafood, shrimps, camarones. Uh, yes. Yes. Shrimp. Yes. Okay. Very good. But have you tried? Have you have you tried cocktails? Cocktails? Have you tried that? Or never? You have never tried. Never. Never. Cocktails. Cocktails. Never. Nunca los ha probado. No. Okay. Very good. Very good. only shrimps, camarones. Okay. Very good. And you, Maricela, do you like seafood? Maricela, are you there? No, I think she's not there. Probably she got stuck. But anyway, we are going to continue, okay? Um, this is uh, ethnic food. Ethnic is relating to a population, subgroup within a larger or dominant national or cultural group. So we have ethnic food like pupusas, right? Like pupusas, tamales, empanadas, atolelote, all of that, okay? <laughs> Those are ethnic foods. And it says, um, we have also popular food in the United States, like, like peanut butter and jelly. I think that peanut butter is not very famous here in El Salvador. Do you like peanut butter? Because that's famous in the United States, right? But here, I don't think it is really famous. Have you tried peanut butter and jelly sandwiches? No, I never grew. You have never tried uh, peanut butter, Jenny? No, never. Never. Well, I thought when the first time that I tried peanut butter, I thought that it was going to be sweet. Pensé que iba a ser dulce, la mantequilla de maní. But it wasn't sweet. It was like kind of salty. So it was, and also with, with jelly, it's a weird combination. But anyway, and also we had hamburgers, right? We have hamburgers. We have cakes, we have pizza, right? All of those kind of foods are very popular in, in the United States. Have you tried any, like something from the United States? I don't know if someone has, someone of you have uh, ha has traveled there or something that is uh, like, for example, normally it's junk food, right? Something that we have tried like Taco Bell, pizza, things like that, right? So I don't know if you have tried something different from the United States. ¿Han probado algo diferente de los Estados Unidos? ¿Alguna comida diferente? ¿Algo que les pareció raro? ¿Que no les gustó? ¿Que sí les haya gustado? Donuts, por ejemplo. Mm, no. ¿No? Sí. Yes. 
like a Kentucky Fried Chicken. Yes, Kentucky Fried Chicken. We don't have Kentucky Fried Chicken here in my city. We don't have Kentucky Fried Chicken. Do you have Kentucky Fried Chicken there, Luis? Mm, no. no uh, yes, uh, near to my home, the, there is a Kentucky Fried Chicken. Near your house, there is a but Kentucky Fried Chicken. I don't like it. You don't so, like it? Different to the American. We, we eat like a pollo campero, mm -hmm. so for example. Kentucky is so sweet. Kentucky Versus, fried chicken is sweet. Uh, pollo campero. Compared to pollo campero. So you like better pollo yes. campero? The, fl the flavor. <clears throat> okay, very yeah, good. Yeah, it's better for me. <laughs> okay, very good. I, I never I never compared like the two chickens, but if you say so, that is uh, yeah. it's sweet. The Kentucky fried chicken is sweet. Yeah, probably it is, right? But we don't have it here in, in, our, in, in my city. We don't have Kentucky Fried Chicken, just Campero. Okay, now we are going to practice some vocabulary with the seafood, okay? Because we are going to need it in the future. Vamos a necesitar este vocabulario en las próximas clases. For example, meat, we have chicken meat, pork, beef, ham. Also fish or seafood, we have shrimp, salmon, tuna, lobster, vegetable. We have a lot of vegetables, right? Chilies, onion, carrot, eggplant. This is an eggplant, the one that you can see here in the picture. And fruits, right? Bananas, avocados, tomatoes, and limes. Also, we can um, we can see that we, ha we have countable and uncountable food, right? Like buns, sandwich, apple, orange, burger, fries, eggs, salad, vegetables, cookies, potatoes, tomato, carrot, hot dog, candies, olives, peanuts, pancakes, this is an onion, watermelon, peas, grapes, and cherries. All of these are countables, right? We can count all of those, oh, this kind of food. But we have uncountable also, right? We have bread in general, right? Bread, fruit, juice, meat, rice, cereal, jam, milk, coffee, sugar, flour. What is flour? Do you know the meaning of flour? Arena. Arena. Very good. Flour is arena. Okay. This is like honey, I guess. Uh, salt, soup, tea. Cottage, cheese, pasta, honey, water, cheese, butter, seafood, mustard. And how do you say lactios in English? How do you say lactios? Who knows that? Because cheese, milk, all of those are lactios, right? How do you say that? Dairy. Dairy, very good. Dairy food. Dairy son lácteos. Entonces, cuando hablamos de lácteos, es dairy. Let me see. We are going to have a participant because we have already reviewed all this vocabulary, the meat, and the countable, and countable. We have it here in front of us. So, we are going to ask um, Patricia, what do you have for dinner today, Patricia Gabriela Rivera? I haven't. I have no dinner. You haven't had dinner yet. Yes. I haven't. You haven't. Okay, so you eat dinner after class. Yes. Okay. Are you hungry right now? Yes, very hungry. <laughs> yes, I imagine. I imagine. Okay, let's see. Um, Crisia del Rocío Jovel. <laughs> Crisia. Let me know. Have you eaten Hello, dinner? Teacher. Hello, have you had dinner? Yes, teacher. What do you eat for dinner? I ate um, eggs mm -hmm. with beans. <laughs> eggs with beans, very good. And what did you yes. drink? Did you drink something? 
Yes, coffee. Coffee, very good. Co coffee with, with milk. Coffee with milk. Do you like coffee with milk or, or, yes. or it's just... Okay, very good. I love it. <laughs> very good. Did you eat something else? Um, um, bread. Bread, uh-huh. Uh, um, with cheese. Mm -hmm. And cream. Uh, I don't know. I don't know like to say crema. <laughs> crema is cream. Yes, cream. Okay, cream. Um, only that. Only that. Very good. Delicious, delicious yes. dinner. Very good. Now let's see, Gabriela Cortez. Have you had dinner already? Yes. I yes. Have. What did you eat for dinner? Um, I eat. Uh, Uh, lote, tamal de lote. Ah, uh, corn, corn, tamal, right? Tamal de lote. Okay, what else? Sure. And beans with beans cream. With cream. And what did you drink? Did you drink something? Um, uh, juice. Juice. Orange juice. Orange juice. Yes. Okay, orange juice. Very good. Very good. Nice dinner. Very good. Tamales de lote. Very good. Now let's see another one. Let's see. Liliana, have you had dinner already? What did you eat for dinner, Liliana? Yes, I have had dinner already. I ate cereal. I ate uh, eggplant tea. Mm -hmm. That basically is like you have to cut it into chunks and put it into water and after one hour you can drink it and it's really good uh, for health and besides that i ate an apple just that just that very healthy right you like a yeah. lot of vegetables right yeah and that, the tea was apple. delicious um, it's like water basically it's not that it's high not any... sweet it's not uh-huh no it's just like water Okay, very good. Delicious. It's a different dinner, right? It's delicious also. Okay, yeah. let me see. We're going to continue right now with uh, more vocabulary, I guess. Okay, I guess this this uh, audio, this track is in the platform, like uh, at a, a picture, right? They were talking about food and probably they already did it. Have you, have you worked in the platform already? ¿Ya trabajaron en la plataforma? Did you listen to this conversation? Not yet. Well, I don't know if it is there, but I guess it's I guess no. it's there. I don't know, but probably no, okay. they were talking about snails and weird uh, food because now food is kind of different, right? What is the strangest food that you have tried? ¿Cuál es la comida más rara que han comido? What is the strangest food you have tried? For me, rabbit. Rabbit. Who said rabbit? Me, Alejandra. Alejandra. Uh, Alejandra Magaña. Okay, sorry. You have your camera. For me, mm -hmm. for me, teacher. Yes, Luis Enriquez. Uh, uh, okay. No, for me, the most strange food that I I have to ever try is the sushi. The, the what, sorry? Japanese food. Japanese food. What kind of food, food have you tried? Sushi. Sushi? Sushi, yes. Sushi. Okay, sushi. Yeah, sushi, I, I have tried sushi and I like yes. sushi. There are different types, different kind of flavors, right? Yes, I like sushi. You did you like sushi or you didn't like it the first time that you tried? No, no, no. That food don't like me. You didn't so like it. It's a, a fish. It's, it's like a, a raw fish. Raw yes. fish. Yeah, everything's that, like very raw, it's very yeah, fresh. Raw fish. Yes. What is your favorite food, Luis Enriquez? I, lo I like the the I like the fish. Fried fish. Fry fish. Made in, in El Salvador. That's good. Yes. 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 That's really good with lemon, right? Very good. Yes. And Alejandra, you mentioned also rabbit. Yes. 
You, I've never it's tried rabbit. What is the taste? Uh, I think it's like chicken. Because it's like I realized chicken. that it was chicken until, well, that it was rabbit until my mom told me that it was rabbit. Your so mom I told you. talking about that's, it, yeah. <laughs> that's rabbit. And did you like rabbit? Have you tried rabbit again or not anymore? No, no. No, poor rabbits, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, it's kind of, you, you feel like like a sentiment, like feeling that you don't Yeah, you don't because want to I, I, I have a pet. Well, I used to have a pet, a rabbit, so. A rabbit. Yeah. Do you, do you, do you still have that rabbit as a pet? No. No, but you had, you used to have before. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I understand. I used to have a rabbit also, and she was really fat. But then she went to another house. I guess I don't know what happened to her. I don't want to know. I don't. I don't want to know. But yes, I used to have a rabbit also. But I have never tried. I have never tried rabbit. Just chicken and normal food. Um. Also, I've tried crickets. Do you know what a cricket is? Yes. Mm, I'm not sure. Grillos. Ah. <laughs> yeah. A friend of mine, uh, she went to Mexico and she brought crickets, grillos with salt and lemon. Mm -hmm. And it was like a snack. It was weird. I have, I have heard about people who ate like, well, they cook like the all the mire. Yes. Do you believe that? Yes, they, they actually Mexico they cook with a lot of insects, right? Like crickets, oh. worms, ants, hormigas, all of that. They eat all of that in in salads and things like that. Squirrel. Yeah. Yes, yes, squirrel, a squirrel. You try a squirrel, yes. Mister Rios? Yes. And ardilla. Good? Yes, ardilla. Yes, it's the same with the rabbit. The same, the same taste. It tastes yes. like chicken, como pollo, sabe? Mm, more, or less, more or less. Did you but, like it? Uh, mm. so, so. so, so. Have you so, tried so it again? Because, <laughs> because, yeah, yes, because uh, the the squirrel uh, eat my my avocados mm -hmm. and mangoes, and it's a. Uh, it's a it's pandemia because uh, it's um, someone is more or less a uh, twenty five very uh, uh, squirrel and sometime I take my arm mm -hmm. to see um. um and you kill the squirrels? Kill, kill um, five, six, and I eat. You ate the squirrels. <laughs> yes. Okay, because they were they were eating like the avocados and all of the fruit that you had there. <laughs> no. It was like a plague. Mm. But um, um some sometime I like uh uh, I cook with uh, other uh, species, mm -hmm. species, species, uh, because uh, have a a good um, um sabor fl uh, flavor flavor good taste flavor. Good flavor very good, good but uh, have you have you tried squirrel recently? Or it was a long time ago? No, a long time ago. Oh. Long time ago. Yes. Okay, very good. Only have... for temporada. <laughs> okay, seasonal. <laughs> okay, very good. But yeah, I've never tried squirrel. I've never tried rats. I never tried um, rabbits also. And also in China, they eat cats and also dogs, right? That's, that's yes. a rumor they had like, um, a COVID-19 was developed in a market because of, uh, uh, was a, of a bad, a bad, a, a person ate a bad, it was contaminated, yes. something like that, right? Yes. Yeah, it's kind the, of weird. The squirrel in the family with the uh, uh, mouse? Yes. Uh, with the uh, rabbit too. Yes, exactly. Exactly, yes. they are from the same the same family. Well, yes. 
Very good, very good. Now we're going to continue. Thank you for okay. your experiences. Very good. Thank you, Mr. Bueno. bueno. Yes. Excuse me. Yes. Uh, yes. My experience, and mm -hmm. when I and I went uh, to Azogues, Ecuador. You went I to ate, Azogues, Ecuador. Uh huh. Uh, uh, I ate cuy, cuy, cuy. Is the food uh, uh, the some Ecuador, um, Bolivia, mm -hmm. Bolivia, Peru, Ecuador, same food. Uh, Qui is an animal, uh, a seal, um, right? Is uh, um, a hamster. It's like, like cuyo. Uh -huh. we, we, we call uh, it like cuyo yes. here, right? Qui, qui, uh, uh, the name in Ecuador is qui. Qui. Mm -hmm. uh, um, but uh, he, uh, animal don't. That's an uh, cuyo, it's, it's other animals. Ah, it's, a, it's different, it's not cuyo, it's another one. It's di different. I, uh, and did I you ate. like it? Did you like it, Mr. Rufino? Yes, I like it. It's uh, the sabor, uh, sabor. Flavor? Uh, flavor is uh, um, the, the, the skin, the skin. Uh, say, uh, say pig, pig, uh, pig. in it's the like pig. Um, the meat is say uh, is parecido. How do you say parecido? Similar. Similar, similar a uh, chicken. The, so much, the chicken. <laughs> okay, everything tastes <laughs> like chicken, right? Rabbit, squirrel, <laughs> cuy. Everything tastes like chicken. But it was okay. good. You like it, Rufino. I like it. You liked it. Okay, very good. Thank you for your experience, Mr. Rufino. Probably one day we will go to Bolivia or Ecuador and we will try uh, Cui. Okay, we, I, will, I will look for it uh, on internet also. So now it's time to practice. Okay, we almost finished, but we are going to try to practice this conversation. Volunteers, we have a plus. Los que participan primero como voluntarios van a tener eh, más ayuda, van a tener extra verdad so this is a conversation about this picture i don't know if you had it in the platform probably you were able to listen to it but we are going to read it first so you can listen to it and then you can practice it says hey this sounds strange snails with garlic have you ever eaten snails yes i have i had them here just last week did you like them? Yes, I did. They were delicious. Why don't you try some? No, I don't think so. And then the waiter says, have you decided on an appetizer yet? Yes, I'll have a small order of the snails, please. And you, sir, I think I'll have the fried brains. Fried brains? I've never heard of that. It sounds scary. Okay, Stella, Stella, I think she came back. Okay, um, so this is the this is the conversation. Okay, they are in a restaurant. They are going to eat snails with garlic and also fry brains, sesos freídos. Okay, so this is the the blue the the lines in blue. They are this is the waiter, right? So um, I don't know if someone or a volunteer wants to practice or do you have questions about this conversation first of all do you have questions no no questions okay so everything's okay yes jenny i i want to participate okay you want to participate to practice the, 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 the conversation. conversation okay yes. who wants to participate with me jenny? me too, teacher, teacher. Who said me? Maricela. Maricela. Okay, Maricela, you go after Jenny and Mr. Urias, okay? Okay. Okay, Mr. Urias and Jenny. Who will be uh, the, the yellow one? ¿Quién va a ser el amarillo? Me. I. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, Please. Mr. Urias. First, okay. the ladies. 
Okay, very good. You can <laughs> you can begin. Let's practice, okay? Okay. Okay. Hey, this sounds strange. Snail with garlic. Have you ever eaten snail? Yes, I have. I had them here just last week. Did, did you like them? Yes, I did. They were delicious. Why don't you try some? No, I don't think so. Um, uh, the waiter too. Okay, I will be the waiter, okay? It says, have you decided on an appetizer yet? Yes, I have a small order of these snails, please. And you, sir? I think I'll, I'll have the fried, fried brains. Fried brains? I never heard of that. It's so scary. Very good, very good. Clap for them, very good. Now, uh, fried brains, very good. I never fried heard of brains. that. It sounds scary, very good. So now, scary. what is an appetizer? Guess appetizer, what is that? Appetizer. Apetecer. Apetecer. An appetizer is aperitivo, ¿verdad? Aperitivo. Oh, aperitivo. Yes. aperitivo. Yeah, kind of, right? Very good, very good. Now we are going to try one more time. We are going to, I'm going to read it one more time. And then Maricela will practice with somebody else. It says, hey, Alejandra. Okay, Alejandra and Maricela. Okay, so they, you will be next, okay? So I will read it just one more time. Hey. This sounds strange. Snails with garlic. Have you ever eaten snails? Yes, I have. I had them here just last week. Did you like them? Yes, I did. They were delicious. Why don't you try some? No, I don't think so. Have you decided on an appetizer yet? Yes, I'll have small order of the snails, please. And you, sir? I think I'll have the fry brains. Fry brains? I've never heard of that. It sounds scary. Okay, entonces, vamos Alejandra. ¿Y quién era la otra persona? Alejandra. Alejandra es... En Crisia. En Crisia. Oh, Maricela. Maricela, sorry. Crisia, you go, you go after, okay? Maricela en Alejandra, okay? Now, if you can see here, the conversation is missing some words, ¿ok? Entonces, cada vez eh, vamos a ir cambiando las palabras, ¿ok? Traten de recordar las palabras. Ok. Ok. Who will go first, Maricela or Alejandra? I'm going first. Ok, go ahead. Hey, this sounds strange. A snail with garlic. Have you ever eaten the snails? Okay, Maricela, are you there? Maricela, did you have problems with your connection, internet connection? Maricela? Okay, it sounds, it seems Maricela had a problem. Now, Crisia, can you help us, please? Are you are you ready, Crisia? Um, yes, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Uh, continue with the white line. Um, yes, I have. Uh, I have them here just last week. Do you like them? Do you like them? Um, yes, I did. They were delicious. Why don't you try some? No, I, I think so. I don't think so. Have you decided on an appetizer yet? Yes, I have a small order of the snails, please. And you, sir? I think I have the fried brains. Fried brains? I never heard of that. I sound scary. Very good. I've never heard of that. It sounds scary. Very good. 
Claps for you, Alejandra. Yes, it seems that Marisol had a problem. Thank you, Crisia, and thank you, Alejandra. Now, uh, I need other volunteers, okay, to practice the conversation. Me. Okay, Rufino, and who else? Another volunteer? Rufino and? Someone else, please? Alguien más que no haya participado? We have uh, Patricia, we have two Patricias, Patricia Gabriel and Patricia Veronica. We have Luis Enriquez, we have Olivia, we have Levi, we have Stella, we have Gabriela, we have Kenny, Paola, Andrea, Griselda, Tatiana. Who wants to participate with Rufino? I want. Okay, Liliana. Remember that there are, there are some words missing, okay? Okay, go ahead. Uh, hey, did some strangers snail with garlic? How do you ever, how do you ever eat a snail? Uh, yes, I have tried them here just last week. Did you have them? Yes, I did. They are delicious. Why don't you try some? No, I don't think so. Okay, have you decided on an appetizer yet? Yes, I'll order a small order of the snails, please. And you, sir? I see. I will never die fried brains. I... Fried brains? I have never heard of that. It sounds scary. Okay, very good, very good. <laughs> you remember the conversation, okay? <laughs> we are going to have it here. It says, uh, I've ever eaten, right? In this one, the last part, it says, I'll, I think I'll have the fried brains, right? I think I'll have. Very good. And also, did you like them right here? Okay, very good. And we are going to try the last one. The last, the last pair. Las últimas dos parejas, por favor. Estela, who else? ¿Quién le va a ayudar a Estela? Angela. Okay, Angela. Okay, Estela and Angela, go ahead. Hey, this sounds strong. Mm -hmm. Can you listen? Yes. Yes, it's that. Uh, hey, this song Stranger is like with Garley. Have you ever eaten a snake? Yes, I have. I ate them here just last week. Did you like them? Yes, I did. They were delicious. Uh, Uh, have I don't try some? So, don't you try some? Uh, I don't think so. so. Okay, have you decided on an appetizer yet? Yes, I will order small. I will. I will or appetize a small order of the snail, please. And you, sir? I think I have the friends when prime brain. I have never heard of that. It sounds scary. Very good, very good. It was kind of difficult, right? Difficult. Yes, it's difficult. So you have to pay attention on the first part, okay? But it, it was really good. Remember that is, I've never heard, okay? Heard, okay? This is the past participle, heard. And also decided, order, I will have, okay? In English, I will have, voy a tener, 
Pero I will have es como voy a probar, ¿verdad? O, o me puede traer, I will have. Y también es, eh, why don't you try some? Did you like them, right? No, I don't think so. In try. Try es como probar, ¿verdad? Probar por primera vez algo que vamos a comer. Have you tried? I've never tried them. So for food is try. Okay, I guess that we have uh, finished with the class for today. So let's close it off. We are going to have a homework for tomorrow. Um, I just want you to investigate, or if you already know, just you can write it down. What is simple past? And what is present perfect? Because tomorrow is the grammar part, right? We are going to study just some parts of the present perfect and the simple past. But today you did it very well. Actually, we practiced a little bit of the present perfect and simple past in this conversation, but we are going to know how to combine it. Después, mañana vamos a saber cómo combinar los dos. So, uh, do you have any question right now? No questions? Okay, so tomorrow no I will see you at the same time, 7.55, and we are going to continue with the English classes, okay? Have a nice day. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Good evening. Bye. Good night, teacher. Bye, Libby. Bye, Hugo. Bye, Luis. Bye, Andrea. Bye, Alejandra.